Chris Sewell here, baseball card collector, investor, dealer in that order. Welcome everyone, we're going to do a countdown video here of the 20 most valuable basketball cards from the 1990s. Rookie cards only and uh, base cards only. If we, if we did parallels and inserts, this uh, list would be totally bonkers. Going to use average recent sales in a PSA 9 to stay consistent. And uh, each player can only appear once, otherwise this list would be dominated by one or two guys. So with the uh, rules out of the way, let's jump right in at number 20. Grant Hill, whose rookie card is 1994. Hill has a bunch of rookie cards as they were producing a, a whole bunch of different sets in the mid-90s. Most of them can be had for sort of uh, $1 to $2, like the uh, emotion on the right there, pumped. Hill had an impressive career, 18 seasons. Uh, best years were with Detroit and Orlando. He averaged 17 points a game throughout his career, made seven all-star teams, uh, received MVP votes five seasons. So he was, he was a dominant player in his 20s, but sort of faded out as he got into his uh, early 30s. As I mentioned, he has a bunch of different rookie cards. The best is his finest. Finest will show up a bunch on this list. Uh, it sells for around $21 in a PSA 9. Number 19 is the glove, Gary Payton, his rookie card from 1990. Uh, Payton's only got three rookie cards. You can see him there. He's got the Skybox, a Fleer Update, and a Hoops. Uh, 1990 was just a massively overproduced year for cards, so all three of these are pretty plentiful cards, not very expensive and pretty easy to, to find. Uh, Payton's in the Hall of Fame, and he's known as the glove for his defensive skills, as he would cover you like a glove. His best rookie card of the three is uh, the Fleer Update. They're all three pretty close, but the Fleer Update comes out on top with uh, PSA 9 selling for $26. Number 18 is a member of the Fab Five for Michigan. Chris Weber, who is the number one draft pick, uh, number one overall draft pick in 1993. He's got a bunch of rookie cards. Most of them can be had for around a dollar, maybe, maybe even a little less. Uh, Weber had an impressive career, 14 seasons, and he averaged 21 points per game. But uh, his career appeared at one point to be heading towards all-time great status, and it didn't sort of pan out that way. Um, his best rookie card is easily the Finest, 1993 Finest, which is the first year of Finest, so a very popular set. It uh, goes for around $29. Number 17 is Jason Kidd, rookie year, 1994. Uh, Kidd was a 10-time All-Star and led the, uh, the league in assists five times, so an impressive career. He's got a bunch of 94 rookie cards. I thought the SP would come out number one, but in fact his finest is the most valuable, like the Grant Hill. Uh, the finest sells for $29. Number 16 is a bit of a surprise, at least for me anyway. The uh, Croatian sensation, Tony Kukoc who uh, certainly got a boost from the Last Dance documentaries. He was a key member of the late 90s Bulls teams that were just absolutely dominant. Uh, his resume is nowhere near as good as the previous four people on the list. Most of his rookie cards can be had for well under a dollar. But uh, he also gets help from the fact that his rookie card is 1993, and in the finest set, uh, his finest is easily his most valuable. In a PSA 9, it sells for over $30. Number 15 is Sean Kemp, rookie year 1990. Like uh, Gary Payton, he's only got three rookie cards. Those are the three, Skybox, Hoops, and Fleer. Uh, Kemp averaged a uh, double-double six times in his career, and he reached the NBA Finals in the mid-90s once, but uh, unfortunately ran into Michael Jordan's Bulls as the uh, Sonics had no chance. Uh, his three rookies are all pretty close in value, but uh, surprisingly, the Hoops is the most valuable of the three. In a PSA 9, it sells for just short of $35. Number 14, Penny Hardaway, rookie year 1993. Hardaway's rookies were insanely hot in the mid-90s. He went, he went to the All-Star game four times in his first five seasons, uh, but then just sort of trailed off pretty significantly after that. At one time, his finest rookie was one of the most in-demand cards in all the hobby, and uh, today it's still his most valuable rookie. Uh, recent sales have averaged $37. Number 13, Stefan Marbury, rookie year 1996. Uh, he played 13 seasons and averaged 19 points a game in his career. He also played nine seasons in China in his uh, 30s, so definitely gets some love from the uh, Chinese fans. The 96 ramps up premium products. So it's the first year of Topps Chrome, uh, which is a critical set. We'll see a bunch more from this set on this list. 
Uh, it's his most valuable card by far in a PSA 9. It, sales have averaged $38. Number 12, playing in the NBA at 18, Tracy McGrady, uh, rookie year 1997. Uh, McGrady has two scoring titles. He once averaged 32 points in a season, and he played in seven straight All-Star games, so he was a, a major star for a while there. Injuries sort of ended his career early. Uh, there's a bunch of nice sets in 1997. You can see some here. I really like the EX2000 there in the middle. Uh, but once again, the Topps Chrome is, is McGrady's most valuable rookie. In a PSA 9, it sells for $48. Number 11, Chauncey Billups, rookie year 1997. He's got a dozen or so rookies. Most of them can be had for around a dollar or two. His most valuable is, no surprise, the Topps Chrome. Uh, in a PSA 9, recent sales have averaged $55. Number 10 was the first overall draft pick in 1992. Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq was the biggest prospect of a generation. His rookie cards were absolutely on fire in the 1990s, and his career basically lived up to the hype. He uh, was ranked recently by ESPN as the 10th greatest player of all time. Uh, his upper deck was one of the most popular, and it's also extremely condition sensitive. Uh, today, in a PSA 9, it sells for about $121. Number 9 is Ray Allen, rookie year 1996. Allen is the all-time leader in three-point field goals, something that's sort of easy to forget, uh, and Steph Curry will certainly surpass him in the next couple of years. But he was a 10-time All-Star. He won two titles, uh, one with the Celtics and, and one with the Heat. His uh, best rookie card, no surprise, is the Topps Chrome from the first year of Topps Chrome. Uh, PSA 9s will cost you around $146. Number 8 is Ray Allen's teammate with the Celtics, Paul Pierce. Rookie year, 1998. Uh, Pierce was also a 10-time All-Star, uh, like Relic Allen, and he was a Finals MVP in 2008 when the Celtics won their most recent title. Uh, his most valuable card, rookie card is not the Topps Chrome there on the right, but is in fact the SP. Uh, the 1998 SPs were some of the first base cards to serial number their rookies. You can see this one's out of uh, 3,500. In a PSA 9, it sells for about $177. Number seven is Allen and Pierce's teammates with the Celtics, Kevin Garnett, rookie year 1995. Garnett was a 15-time All-Star, and he uh, ranked on that ESPN listing as the 20th greatest player in NBA history. His uh, most valuable, this was the year before Topps Crumb, so his most valuable rookie is his Topps Finest. Uh, it sells for around $180. Number six is Tim Duncan, rookie year 1997. On that uh, ESPN list I keep referencing, Duncan was rated as, uh, rated as the 8th greatest player in NBA history. Sort of goes under the radar sometimes. He won 5 NBA titles with the Spurs. He was a 2-time league MVP, 3-time finals MVP. His uh, rookies used to be extremely inexpensive, but they've gone up quite a bit the last couple of years, finally seeing some love. Uh, no surprise that his Topps Chrome is his most valuable, and, and most valuable by quite a bit. If you're looking to get a PSA 9 copy, you'll have to fork over $205. Number 5 is Steve Nash, rookie year 1996. Like uh, Duncan, he also won two league MVPs, and on that ESPN list, he was ranked as the 30th greatest player in NBA history. He averaged a double-double seven times. Pretty, pretty impressive. He's got a bunch of rookies. I like the upper deck on the left where he's playing hockey with the basketball for whatever reason. Uh, no surprise that his Topps Chrome is his most valuable rookie. That's going to be the case for anyone in 1996. Uh, it currently sells for around $230. Number four is Nash's teammate with Dallas, Dirk Nowitzki. Uh, ESPN list ranks him as the 19th greatest player in NBA history. He was a 13-time All-Star and uh, led Dallas to their NBA title in 2011 when he also won the league MVP. Like Paul Pierce, uh, his rookie, his best rookie is the SP, uh, the serial number out of 3,500. It currently goes for around $285 in a PSA 9. Number three is the number one overall draft pick in 1996 out of Georgetown, Allen Iverson. ESPN ranks him as the 29th greatest player in NBA history. 
He had four scoring titles and uh, averaged 30 points a game four different seasons. I love the Fleer rookie there in the middle where he's got the no-look-behind-the-back pass. But uh, again, his best rookie card is the Topps Chrome. Uh, and a PSA 9, if you're looking to get one, you'll need to come up with $318. Number two is a bit of a surprise, not that he made the list, but that he ranks this high. Uh, Vince Carter, rookie year 1998. Uh, ESPN ranks him as the 55th greatest player in NBA history. But incredibly, he was still playing last season at the age of 43. He's got a bunch of nice rookie cards. Again, the SP is his most valuable as it's one of the first serial numbered cards, as I've already mentioned. PSA 9s today go for around $387. And number one, no surprise here, Black Mamba, Kobe Bryant. ESPN ranks him as the ninth greatest player in NBA history. I would have guessed he would have been higher. Uh, five NBA titles, 25 points a game over his career, fourth all-time in career points. Uh, I could go on and on and on with his accomplishments. Uh, a lot of rookie cards with quite a bit of value. Uh, his Topps Chrome is arguably the most iconic basketball card from the 90s. Uh, PSA 10s go for insane amount. In a 9, it will still cost you $3,082. So that's it, the 20 most valuable basketball rookie cards from the 1990s. The uh, Kobe Bryant outsells everybody else combined. Interesting uh, stat. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please uh, thumbs up and subscribe if you did. I got a lot of these sort of videos. Post them regularly. Uh, have a great day. Thanks, guys.